Hey guys, Aaron here, and today this is the Brushless MCPX review. Um, this is Blade's newest little helicopter. Um, this has the upgraded, or the um, optional, I don't know what they're calling this canopy, and it also has the solid carbon tail boom. Now, this heli is awesome, and this is definitely only for like an intermediate, or uh, an, an advanced pilot. This is not for beginner to advanced. Um, you know, it is slightly bigger than the stock MCPX blades are just a little longer. Um, this thing bites in really good, stops great. It has the brushless tail motor, brushless main motor. Everything, it, it, everything is awesome in this helicopter. It's extremely durable. Um, it's a very good, well put out or well put helicopter. I just, I I like it, but I don't. And um, actually, currently, th this is not mine anymore. I this was mine. But uh, my little brother actually is getting really good. He's doing some really good 3D. So I figured I'd, you know, sell it to him. So we, uh, he, he bought this off of me. I only had maybe 50, I, I had maybe 50, 60 flights on it. So enough to definitely give a review. You can look up my flights on the Brushless MCPX if you want. Um, anyway, let's just get started. This is an awesome heli, but it doesn't do smooth stuff. Um... I, for my flying style, I like smack, I like the quick stuff, I also sometimes occasionally like to do big air stuff, um, hurricanes, loops, that sort of thing, but I, this thing will not fly smooth, because I've tried it, this tail in a hover, um, wags, which isn't bad, because you're rarely hovering this thing, you're always flipping it and doing that sort of thing, like I said, go look up my videos on it, um, anyway, I, um, it, it became, it, it got to a point where this tail holds really good, it's almost impossible to blow out. I've already put it into tail slides, I've taken it up so far, I can't even see it. Um, but I just, the tail is too slow for me. Um, personally, I like the brushed MCPX better, just because it's, it's simple, it's nice. This was awesome, but this thing does awesome smack, um, which I like to do, I like to do the quick smack flying. It just, it, the tail rotated slow, um, when you are doing smack, a lot of people say, oh, there's no precision, and there's really not a ton of precision, but sometimes, yeah, it's nice to be precise when you're doing smack, when to stop the tail, how to stop the tail, and this, you really couldn't stop the tail right. I know you could mess with gyro gain, you could, I didn't want to get into all that, um, I never really did, I just, you know, I, I have almost all the other little helis. Um, Nano, the MCPX V1, MCPX V2, 130. I mean, I have almost all of them, so it's, you know, it, this heli is awesome. And you know, if I didn't have those other helis, I'd still, I would have kept this. But um, you know, it's it's a good heli only for, for, I'd say only about advanced pilots. This is not a beginner or intermediate um, helicopter by any means. It is quick, um, has a high head speed. Um, it's very poppy, quick. It's it's a very crazy. Heli, I'm gonna take the canopy off. Kind of do this with one hand here, so sorry. But yeah, this is currently this is actually my brother's because, um, like I said earlier, I just you know, I have everything else and um, figured I'd sell it to him. He really wanted it, so I gave him a killer deal that he couldn't pass up. Um, as you see, it looks uh, a lot like the regular MCPX. They beefed some things up. So, um, they beefed the swash plate up. They beefed the rotor uh, hub up. The main rotor head hub, they beefed the skids up, tail motor, main motor. It's basically the MCPX but beefed up. Um, so yeah, that it, it's good in that way. It's extremely durable uh, and it's awesome. Like I said, there's only so much of smack flying you can do. You know, with the 130X, you can do smooth, you can do big air. Where this, you know, you really can only do smack, and I I didn't like that. You can fly smooth with it, maybe, but the tail wants to kind of kick around. It's not the, the tail isn't locked in on this when you're doing smooth. Basically, the more you smack this around and the more you just go all out on it, the better the tail holds and the better the helicopter flies. So, um, you know, that's just a quick little brief description of why I got rid of it and a little bit about the heli. Other than that, like I said, really durable. Out of the box settings for this weren't very good. They were slow, so I, I it was extremely slow. Um, so I turned that up. Um, backwards flight, I don't like the, this for backwards flight. Um, the tail doesn't hold very good. 
like I said, it does big tail slides, it does all that, but when I was doing uh, backwards hurricanes or tail down funnels or whatever, it really didn't want to hold it. It kept wanting to kick, the tail would uh, bobble, and, you know, it just doesn't like to do precise, any sort of precision flying. Which, it's a micro, I understand, but the 130, even the stock MCPX, you can do perfect funnels with it, you can do really good hurricanes. You can do tail slides with that. I mean, you know, as long as you have the right collective management, you can do almost almost anything. This just has power and the um, every, everything to put through, to get through the maneuver, and, and then some. I mean, it was crazy. This, this is a really crazy helicopter, and it's also extremely durable. I, I never thought, I, I, the way I thought is the head speed this thing had, um, it wouldn't be this durable. And, you know, it's extremely durable. But anyway, there's just a quick little overview and um, review. Personally, I if I were an advanced pilot looking for um, a good all-around helicopter, I'd go with the Blade 130X. Now, if you're looking for a very durable, all-out smack, fly it as hard as you can helicopter, go for this. Personally, though, I prefer the 130X. Um, you know, it's not as durable, but... Uh, you can't really go wrong with this heli, but still, um, I prefer the 130X, even the stock MCPX. It's fun. Um, you know, it's, it's an awesome heli, and you can't go wrong with it. This is really only for advanced flyers, and, um, it's not exactly the cheapest. It's good quality. Um, they didn't have any issues when they first came out. Like I said, it's great quality, but, uh, yeah, that's really it for this quick little review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, hope you uh, this really gave you an opinion on the Blade Brushless MCPX. Hopefully, if you do have one, you like it. Um, if not, you can do what I did, sold it. Uh, again, my little brother really wanted one, so he bought it, and he loves it. He does all sorts of 3D with it, and he loves it. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.